the way. Stop there. Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, commercial photographer and photography instructor. And I'm here to run through some of the key features and operations of the Hasselblad H5D camera. Now, before I show you the untethered operation of this camera and some of the onboard menu systems, I want to tell you about the weather sealing on this camera. Because the H5D has an all new weather sealing system. And to put this to the test, I put this camera through hell and back on a shoot in Iceland. I shot in some of the worst possible conditions for a camera, including water mist and spray from waterfalls, salt spray from the ocean, and some of the nastiest fine ash and dust you can imagine, all in howling winds and freezing cold temperatures. And while I wouldn't encourage putting your camera through this sort of treatment, I'm pleased to say the camera performed admirably and allowed me to capture shots with a medium format camera in an environment that I would have not thought previously possible. Long exposures and very long exposures with the 2 minute and 8 second default setting meant I didn't even need to switch to B or bold mode for this type of work. This provided me with quick and easy ways to be creative without the need to attach a cable release to the camera. Shooting in these conditions often meant that tethering to a laptop wasn't really an option. Fortunately, the new improved camera processors gave me enhanced viewing and screen functions, some of which I'll run through with you now. So if I take pictures untethered, then the images are now transferred to the camera's CF memory card. And one of the first things that I'm going to want to do is to check the focus. By pushing the P2 button, I can activate the focus check. And using my top scroll wheel, I can scroll to the right and I can scroll up and down with the back scroll wheel. We can also control the position of the target with this button left, right, up and down here on the back display screen. But I find it easier with the control wheels. So once I've got my target check position correct, press P2 again and it zooms in and gives me a very accurate focus check on the image. And then I can bring the image back again just by pressing the menu button and uh, retrieve the full screen image. Now, the other things that I like to check are my histogram information. So if I push the image button again, it brings up basic information about the ISO and the file number, etc. Press it again, I get the histogram information, which I like to uh, check to make sure the exposure level is correct, especially when working outdoors. By using the up and down keys, I can bring up extra information to give full detail information uh, about the aperture, lens, etc., metering modes. And I can also switch to the histogram information for each colour channel in uh, the uh, red, green, blue there. Now, when shooting, you can choose to have the information here permanently displayed or to have the histogram come up and be permanently displayed with each image too. I can also browse all of the captured images by pressing the minus button here and then scrolling through the images as necessary and then pressing the plus button to zoom back in or zoom in even further and then navigate around the image to check focus and other portions of the image if I desire. Pressing the minus key will take me back out to the full screen image. By pressing the P1 button, I can bring up camera information that is on the top LCD screen and have that information displayed on the back screen. By pressing the main menu button, I can access some of the systems and functions of the camera and change settings as well. So here, using the up and down scroll with the back scroll wheel, 
I can find the desired setting and then I can use the top scroll wheel to scroll to the right and scroll down again, go into custom options for example and here I'm going to reassign the P1 button to a different function. So we'll change that function and I can use the true focus button or the AE lock button as the plus and minus buttons here if I prefer rather than using the ones here. So if I use that I can choose through the menu and select the spirit level as an example and then I say enter on that one and exit and now if I press the P1 button it is now the spirit level on the camera. The onboard spirit level is driven by the camera's built-in accelerometer which also provides the capability for Hasselblad's unique true focus option.